All right. Good afternoon or morning. It's almost afternoon. Yep. How's everybody doing today? Good. All right. My name is Dan Rice. I uh, owner of Rice Martial Arts Academy. There's only have one in Rapids here. I run off of Baker Street, and Mr. Richard Rice runs that. My son, and then I have a location in Marshville. Uh, we we've been doing this. Uh, I've been doing 28 years, and he's only been doing like 25. So kind of a slacker. <laughs> but uh, we're going to show yeah, you some. So he started when he was five, and uh, and so been doing it most of the time since then. So what we're going to do is an interactive demonstration. So we're going to show you some things and have you try it on and work on each other. If you have anything that's bothering you, she just stopped eating. She's like, her mouth <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, If you have any issues with your shoulders or your wrists or any of that stuff, we know you have a hip thing, don't worry, not doing any kicking or stretching or any crazy stuff like that. And um, we're just going to show you some simple, quick ways to get away from somebody if they get a hold of you and, uh, and how to work uh, technique against power, okay? And that works. That works very effectively. So, uh, having said all that, you can put your umbrellas down to that. Everybody, stand up. <laughs> Take off your coats. You're not going to need them. Uh, and then we'll just have you guys grab a partner right away. So we're going to do yep. mostly partner work. So yep, okay. we'll be working with each other. Okay. Sure. All right. All right. Oh, yeah. And you have to get away from the wall. You have to like not be afraid and come out in the middle. <laughs> oh yeah, be in the camera. Come on, it's going to be so fun. And that's good enough. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah, don't even have to be there. Okay, I was just in uh, in Granton the other day, and I was I, I go all around to the schools and teach, and we do this at no charge for the schools, and I spend about a week, a lot of times in each one of the schools, just giving them something so they can help themselves if something were to happen. And so, uh, and typically, I will take the smallest little girl that's in there, and I'll take the strongest guy, and I'll demonstrate by having her get loose from this obviously much stronger uh, person and that the techniques work. And so it's real important that we understand that we're going to work against the weakest part of the grips and then uh, soften the person when we need to and then to get away, okay? So the very first thing that we want to show you is simply how to get loose from wrist grab. Do you ever have anybody hold on to your hand that you didn't really want to? Okay, so he's got a strong grip. If I pull, I won't get loose. If I turn my thumb up, I slide up, okay? And so, the thumb is the weak part of the grip. As long as I go in the direction of that thumb, I will be able to slide right out of that technique. Now there's three ways that I teach it. One, you reach up, grab your hand, pull it up. Okay, second one, you can do a circle and break loose. And the third one, you can just turn your hand up and pull up, okay? As long as I go the direction of the thumb, I can easily get loose from that, okay? So let's, and let's do it on the same side of the body, right? It doesn't matter if I do same side or cross side. Again, I look for the thumb and I go that direction, okay? Pull it up, okay? So let's, let's do that, ladies. Cozy partner, grab their wrist, look towards the thumb, you're gonna grab your hand and pull it out towards the thumb. Right, so this is the way it's going, right? I do it, I like to circle this, this is me. You got it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have to turn your palm off and grab my wrist. So you're holding me, right? The second, I know I'm going to go this way, right? So I'm going to go like this, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 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 eight. So she's down. So I'm going to go like this, and she's going to hold, and then I'm going to go. Oh, she's going to go like this. I'm going to go like this. Ready? Either way, right? And I'm going to go this way, and you're going to go like this. So as soon as I get to the same side, right? Oh, same side like that? Yeah, that works. And they start. Tight, like you need it. Like, yeah. <laughs> that works. Yeah. I think you could get out of my grip. So we're going to try that. Ladies, just for a second. This, I think that I can. When I teach this, I talk about this when I do anti abduction with the of the programs. Well, if somebody here, the first thing that happens is they can hold your arm and grab nothing for everyone in the vehicle. Okay? And so, if you can identify where that thumb is as soon as they grab it to, to snatch that out, that can be the difference between getting away and not getting away. And so, it's real important uh, to identify as soon as you feel the grip. If you practice this a bunch of times, you go home and do it with your, your family members or husband or whatever, and, and have them, as soon as you feel you'll know where that thumb's at. You can immediately pull, and then the idea is to run and get away. And so, 
big difference on, on, on the, uh, what happens. So if you can identify, you can pull those and, and take off. And a lot of times they'll, they, won't, they won't continue to chase you. Okay? Any questions on that? All right, what if they grab your two hands? You don't get excited for this? <laughs> now, how would you get loose from here? I got both hands on you now. Yeah, do that first. <laughs> yeah, yeah, go ahead. Oh, go ahead. Great, right, so I'll switch places with him. <laughs> right, we'll talk about softening techniques in a minute, but what I'm going to have you do is reach over the top and grab your hand. Right through the middle. Pull straight up. And out of slides. Uh -huh. Both thumbs are on the top. And when you try that one, try it, because it's no matter how hard they hold you, they cannot, yes. like, he, I guarantee he could hold you as hard as he could, and you pull your arm right really, out of there. It's, yeah, the it's real one. embarrassing when I do this. I always get the biggest guy in the room, and I do that, grab my two hands, and they're holding on tight. And a lot of times, I don't have to use a second hand. I'll just do this real slow and slide out. So let's go ahead and do that. So try right. to grab it with two both hands. hands on the top like this. Two hands on the the first hand on the top. I'm done for her. 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 i am done for her 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 i am done and then I can uh, get my hand out of there. So you can simulate that back and forth a couple of times. Don't really step on your partner's foot. But when we do it, foot stomp, you bring that leg up as high as you possibly can and drive the heel down to the top of their foot, okay? You can't be nice about it. If somebody's got old you, they're not being nice. You want to bring that foot up, drive it into the top of their foot. There's all kind of cool bones in there that you'll shift around and that'll loosen your grip. Okay? There's two things you're trying to do with this, all right? Uh, the one that there's two elements of this. There's this, the pain, right? Ah, oh, my foot hurts. And then there's the surprise. And the surprise is just as important as the pain, right? So like when you stop on that, like half of it is just, you know, give him something else. Because for that instant, he's worried about that, right? For that instant, and that's a surprise. Because really, I mean, you guys have pokey shoes. Any of you have pokey shoes? You definitely do that foot stop. But it's mostly about the surprise. Mostly that quick one. It's, it's about the surprise, though. Like you know, because like even if you hit a guy in the groin, if he's got a hold of you and he's got bad intentions, like a lot of dudes are still going to hold on to you. But the idea is it's got to be quick and like fast and reactionary to where as soon as they grab you, you don't go, oh, 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 and then you know what I mean? When they grab you, your first reaction has to be that, and then you decide how to get out, right? So if somebody grabs you, they have bad intentions right away. You don't need to take your time and think about it. You, you take your shot, you get out. If it's a foot stomp, if it's a quick groin strike, but like when they have their hands on you, you're all in good trouble, right? You know, we, need, we know we need to have this space. So right away, groin, foot, before you even try to get away. Don't fight it first. Right? You're barely ever going to be stronger than any guy who's going to attack you. You know, myself, like if somebody attacked me, I don't think it's going to be a little one. You know, it's going to be a big, huge person. Don't fight it, right? Don't, and then try something. If somebody grabs you and your first reaction is a quick one to the groin, and then you get out, then at least, well, maybe they even think you know, you know, you know what you're doing. <laughs> no, nobody wants to fight anybody who's going to hurt them, you know? I mean, bullies don't pick on tough people. You know, like, you know, and if you go ahead and you whack somebody a couple of times real quick when they grab you, they're going to think twice. Maybe they'll go pick somebody else. Right, and it's just like in the wild, they're going to pick a weaker, uh, easy, uh, easy target. So that's the same thing with this. And if you're by yourself, you darn sure got to do something that's going to get a quick response so you can get out of there. Okay? Control so, techniques? Control techniques. All right, so depending on what the situation is, if you're at the family reunion, 
and Uncle Freddie had too much to drink and then he gets a hold of you, it does not not justify you to crush his groin and, then, and stuff. So sometimes, depending on what you're, where you're at, okay, and what's going on determines the outcome of that. So let's, let's take it down a notch and say, this isn't necessarily you're going to your car and somebody's got to hold you. And it could be where, you know, somebody's just they had a few much, too much to drink and they're being an idiot and you just need to take control of the situation. So, in that case, I'm still going to give them a softening technique. I still got to loosen them up. Bam, I'm going to hit that. And I'm going to reach over and I'm going to peel, thumb to thumb, and I just press them to the floor. Okay? And what's really nice is I can control that with one hand. And so, this is called pain and compliance. Okay? The beauty of this one is you're going to do it to us. Okay? And uh, so, we want to go thumb to the back of the wrist. I'm going to peel that hand off. I want to put my index finger to the base. I slide the other thumb up beside it. Now I'm going to tell him, kneel down. If he doesn't listen, I give him a little shot. And I still have him, but I'm not pushing on him. Okay? I tell him to get up. But at, this, <laughs> but at this point, now I can control this person. Okay? And then, and then this only works on the same side of my body. My left arm, his right arm. His right arm, my left, and my right, his left. And this is a wrist lock. Okay, so we're just going to work that. We're going to show you how to do it. And then, uh, oh, with, with, with ladies, they have much more flexible wrists than guys. Okay? And, uh, and so with that, you have to do a little twist on this. So with the women, and I was just in Grant, and these girls are flopping their hands every which way, and they didn't do anything. You take a get here, and then they just turn it. Now I tighten that joint, and now I can press, and it will work. Okay? So... Let's, uh, Have you just edited that and then we'll work our yep, way we'll work our way around and we'll show you how to do this. So this is off of the same so, side. You okay. well Again, you're going to soften. If the person's straight onto you, you bring up a knee. I like calling the legs goals. You know, and you just kick for the end zone. Don't worry about anything. Okay, so you're going to take your thumb and put it on the back side. You're going to peel my hand off, put the other thumb, slide your index fingers down. Okay, now press your thumbs towards my elbow. All right, good. That was good. Do it again. Oh, you tapped out? <laughs> yeah, I tapped out, right? That, that's, a, that's a tap out. Yeah, that saves, 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 saves a lot of aggravation. Go ahead. So, okay, we're waiting again. Do it. Yeah. That's a tap out. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, and you lower the arm down a little bit and then press. Just like that. Okay? This is, I'm going to show you what it feels like. Right, you don't know. So, like, I'm going to give you just a little, little bit. All right. I know. No, no, I know it when to let go. <laughs> Your shoulder drop, just a smidgen, and then I know you can feel it. Okay, so I don't wait for the guy to tap. I, I can watch and I can tell what the body's going to do. It's like, all right, you, it's working. When you, when you feel pressure, especially when you're working with each other, you feel the pressure and you just let go. Okay, so you're going to go. Cross, peel it off. Thumb to thumb. I want you to basically. lower your fingers just a little <laughs> come on, bit. Come on. There, yes. Good. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Got it. peel it off. Now, now it's payback time, all right? So right. Yeah, there you go. Good. <laughs> Don't cut my wrist. Yeah. Which, yeah. Which, which you forget? Yeah. Softening. Yeah, that definitely hurts. <laughs> 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 Good. Just like yeah. that. Yeah. 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 What's really important? Is that light over here? Yeah. 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 I don't really, I don't really have like good control. I want to control the whole wrist. So I'm gonna get all four of my fingers down on their arm. Here. Then I can just use my thumbs to push. You got it right there. That's forty dollars. So we're gonna take it here. Lower your hands a little bit. You're bringing down. And now I'm on my wrist. You're gonna pull it back. Pull it back. Right. One more time. So you slide this one down. Both thumbs in the middle. Now try to get all four thumbs. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Lowers this down a little bit. Up up here, you have you have you don't have any leverage, right? Get that thing here and strong, right? Because you're going to try to like you with grab it. So when you do that, yep, keep it low. I'm going to show you. I'm not going to do As as I want to go like that with my thumbs. Okay. Go ahead. Pretty good. Oh, wow. <laughs> Just like that. I probably should have tapped earlier. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, once you get it right, I'm not going to tap it to you on that. Yeah, yeah. 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 like it. Was now you have it. Right? Yeah. 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 It takes too long. Yeah. Yeah. When you do something to sound right. For sure. Yeah. But remember, yeah. the person, like if you grab me, right? Yeah. Grab your apple safe. Right? Like you got me, right? If you were trying to attack me, your focus is here. Like your focus isn't necessarily right. You grab me, and I'm going to go like this. Right? You can do it really fast, but the important thing is just peel that up, right? Okay. Not, most of the time, I think when they're somebody grabs in the eyes, if somebody's like, at yeah. yeah. they come to me, you know what I mean? Like, they're looking right at you. Okay. You know, and it is up in your first move when I grab you, is first move, no matter what. I think like, okay. these, are, these are targets, you know what I mean? You can't miss the target if you just slide that in. Okay, now we're going to show you from an opposite ground. Now what's important to remember is what works on one side does not work necessarily on the other. So if he goes across the body, we call it a cross wrist grab, the, um, the, uh, I, we, did, we did the breakaway before, but now what I'm going to do is called an arm bar. I'm just going to go towards his hand, turn into him, he had me, now I have him. Now, this does not hurt. It doesn't. If he tries to stand up, I just hold my arm there. And he can't, he can't stand up against that, okay? On the back of the arm, right across here, the tricep is the, uh, you see his grin, the grimace? Uh, yeah, payback for that groin stretch. <laughs> <laughs> the, there's a nerve in there. And as long as I hold this, when he pushes to stand up, he applies the pressure himself to that nerve. And so we're just going to press that bony part of the arm on there one more time. I come up again, first thing, step, press. Now this is this one doesn't hurt. It's just control technique, and if he if he, if you try to stand up, not the one you told him, you just press down a little bit. Okay. Right. And the one other thing, real quick, when they got you, when you're starting this, remember it's a little swing, but it's pinky to pinky, right? Our pinkies are close to each other. We're gonna go pinky to pinky, grab that wrist. That that's that's the part where you got him. Then you can step in for that armbar. Okay? okay. Remember, the first direction is pinky to pinky. All right. We'll work right down I think you guys can work with your partners on this one. This pinky one to pinky. Yep. Yeah. So go ahead and reach across uh, side. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Yeah.
a little different than that. One more time. So when you step in and do this pressure, we don't want this hand low. What we want to do is hold this like high, because then we have much better than that, right? Yep. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Easy peasy. Alright, but in real life now, when you're going to do this, uh, we want to make yeah, that too. But here, strike, right? So, like, we could, like, okay, Uncle Jeff, or drunk guy, whatever he said, like, nice and easy, hey, let's go, you've had enough. But in real life, right, we're going to go right in, and we're not going to hit him on the back there, we're going to break that elbow. Because it only takes, like, 1,400 strikes to break that elbow, right? All of you guys can make 1,400 strikes. So, once we're here, they're very, very good, right? And then you can come right in and it's either break on the elbow, or you can see I just want to make sure everybody's safe after this. Ms. Rice? Yes. Sir, sure, Chris? Do we want to switch? Or is there another hand one that we want to do? All right, then. We're confused. Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> well, we did it on the one hand. We could do it right and go around. But when we did it the opposite uh -oh. hand. Did you go pick it up each other? Who's, who's I'm the, grabbing who's her. Oh, no, you just turn. Watch. Turn your hand. Turn your hand. There you go. Oh, okay. Okay, we're both grabbing Okay, well, one more. Okay, we got one more grab. We're going to show you one more grab. This is a cross wrist as well. Okay, and this one here, this one here uh, is what we call a wrist wrench. I can't do a wrist lock, but I can do it the opposite way. So I pl place my thumb on the back, and I go there, press my thumb up beside it, and then we go this way. Okay, so let's do this uh, nice and gently with our partners here. Peel, turn. Now remember, first thing, give them a little, a little softening technique and turn. Okay? Let's go ahead and do that. We'll try, we'll come around. So, we're just going to do the first? cross side again. <laughs> so, grab the cross side. You're the whole thing. You're the attacker. Okay, so you're on the right side. This way. Put your other thumb and then you do it. Yes. 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 Okay, so that happened that somebody had your wrist on the bar. I never go worse. Turn it. And you swing it, they'll lay it right under the back. And I guarantee that one. Let's go. And, uh, but yeah, the women, 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 the So we're going to show you a couple, uh, there we call them two-hand shirt grabs, but whatever works off a shirt works off a, a choke, okay? And so um, I know some people aren't comfortable if you're grabbing them by the show, uh, throat, 
And so when we practice, we just grab yeah, your shirt. Shirt or shoulders. And a lot of times you just do it like this so you don't mess up your nice clothes that you got. Okay. <laughs> so I have 18 different ways I teach to get out of this. Okay. And so we're going to just show you a couple of real easy ones. Now these depend upon the height of your, uh, your opponent. Okay. Some of them aren't practical if you're real short and the other person is real tall because you can't get over the top. But this one will work on everybody, and we call it the one, two, three. Right here, on his, uh, uh, where the wrists are, are all those tendons and stuff. If I just push on him, his fingers does weird things, right? And so what I want to do is I want to take my hand like this. This is an easy technique to do. We call it a palm heel strike. And we're going to use this part of our hand, and I'm going to come underneath and hit right by his hand on the wrist. Okay, so I'm going to rotate. Now when I do this, I'm going to push off of my back foot, foot and I'm going to engage my core in this, okay? Has any of you done anything athletic? You know your core is involved in everything. Even if you're just a singer, where does it come from? Diaphragm, right? So we're here. Boom. I rotate. Full pivot. And then we strike to the nose. Okay? Some of those ladies like that. Right there. So, so we do this. Okay, well, this is the first thing that I'm going to do. That's my first move. I'm going to go right to the groin. And then I'm going to go one, two, three. When you practice this, I want you to just go up high. Don't hit your partners, okay? They don't like that. And, and, and they, get, they get a turn next. So, so we go one, two, three, into the nose. Now, I, the question I get a lot is, can you kill the person, hit them in the nose? Highly, highly unlikely, okay? That, that I know in the movies, you bump the nose, the guy falls down and is dead. That's, that's not true. Okay, but what I will do is it will break his nose, it will water his eyes, he won't be able to see well, and you can get away. That is what you want to do, okay? At the end of the day, uh, you want to get away, okay? So, let's, uh, let's work that. So either hand first, and we're going to get our hips in, all right? Yep, it doesn't matter which hand, you just hit your hands. Whoever grabs whoever. There we go. There we go. Time for the start. Yeah. Either one, doesn't matter how much you hit, but right on the front row. Boom, rotate, hit it, boom. Okay. Exactly. This one's real easy to learn. It's fast. Yeah. It's not fun. <laughs> yeah, it's really fun. <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then do it several times. Yeah. 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 I grab you, hold my hands as hard as I can, and you hit me like this, what's going to happen? No. I'm going to go and look at you as a kid. So that's what we have now. But in order to get over our own right? So when they got us, we're going to I'm going to use the back. One, two, and you'll see the belt move, right? And I have to do this a lot. So try to do it all at once. One, two, you're having time to think, right? This is really going to be shot to the inner forearm, shot to the inner forearm. Any girl that had a father not learned about knees, or they should have. <laughs> One, two. Me. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Wow. yeah. There it goes. Okay. All right, we're going to show you a couple more. And the reason we have a bunch of those is because if one doesn't work, you don't keep trying it. Okay? If the guy may not exactly know what you're doing, but if he's on to you a little bit, it probably won't work. So we're going to give you a couple of variations of this, okay? Okay, the next one uh, that we do, we're going to aim for this part of the hand, or the, the arms. Remember those little nerves I was showing you? Okay, so what I want you to do is ball up your fists, and you reach up as high as you can, and you strike straight down on that, okay? You're hitting the whole area. So the first one will warm those nerves up, and then the second one will... They might let go at that point. Third one, you hit it hard, and neither one of their arms are going to work now. Okay, that the hands are going to let go. So when we do this, don't really hit your partners hard. Just bring it up, and I want to work. Aim for this this spot here with your fist. Okay, we got one, two, three, and we strike on those. Okay. How being very nice. That's very kind of you, yeah. <laughs> it's, it, it's, that, it's that half dollar size coin size right under your elbow. Right on top, all right? So it's going to be like right, right in there. That's where it is. Right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. That's crazy. It's like, oh, no, no, no. But that's like, oh, yeah, that works. Yeah. This is one, right? 
technique as we call it the pretzel and so I'm going to reach under with one hand and reach over with the other one remember when we peeled that wrist off before we're going to do the same thing I'm going to peel it off and I'm going to put that hand right on the center of my chest I'm going to cross his arms and now I have complete control of his balance okay when we get our partner to here just let them go so again <laughs> groin reach over center of the chest cross the elbows and push okay Let's go ahead and work that. And one thing to remember, just real quick. So you're going to use one hand. Everybody grab your partner. Let's do this together. We're going to take our right hand, and we're going to reach over and grab their across hand here. And then you're going to use your left hand, and you're going to reach under, and you're going to grab their other wrist. Now you have to get a hold of their hand, otherwise you won't be able to peel that off. Yep, yep, because you're because you're peeling that, that off there. And as soon as you peel that right one right to your chest, and we're going to take their other hand right around their elbow and give them a little tip. The most important thing is this, this hand stays really straight before we try to tip them over. Do you remember when we did the arm bar before? This is that you're doing an arm bar with their arms. If you hold this hand straight, then I'll have to Right? If we don't let this hand straight, then I'll have to do it. Try the other one. So, grab your right hand. Yeah, so you got it. Yeah, so you got it. Yes. 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 Okay, let me see what you got. All right. So it, it doesn't matter which one you do first, but one is over, one is under, and then we're gonna Feel this off the twist, and this one's going to be a straight. This one's going to go right on her elbow and tip her right over. Yeah, easy. Yep, and it doesn't matter. You can go either way, and you can pull and twist whatever's comfortable. And when you can you grab mine? Just one other thing, right? If you were really going to do this, right, we peel this off. We're going to roll our legs right over it. You know what I mean? We're going to use our whole body. In. Okay. All right, I'm, I'm going to give you, a, I'm going to give you a, a bonus one. Now, when I said if you're tall, taller than your, if the other person's real tall, some of these aren't going to work so well. And I'll give you an example. That pretzel over the top, this is going to be a little hard if they're really tall. Or we have another one called a weed. This one's hard if, if the person's a lot taller than you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have you work one more nerve, and that's right here. So he's excited about this. And so the problem is you're, if somebody's, you're probably going to be taller than you. 
So he's not a lot taller than me, so I can almost reach him. Let's see who's tall in here. Come on over here. <laughs> okay. Good luck. Okay, so I guess Joe, I'm using this for the fact that your arms, if you have all to me, I can't reach you. Okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to grow your arms longer. Okay? And I'm gonna take away your reach. So what I'm gonna do is trap one hand and hold it there. I'm gonna cross my fingers and right here there's a little gap there, okay? The sternum is right there. This is, we call this the jugular notch. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go underneath. Now, I'm not going to do this to you. <laughs> Thank you. But I'm going to show you how to make my arm. My arm is this long, right? Watch. Now my arm is that long. Now I can make this work, okay? Let me go back over there. All right. So what I'm going to do is trap, cross, and as I rotate my shoulders, I'm going to extend this arm and push in and down. Okay, and it works really well. Okay, there's a nerve right in here that we go in and we press down on. So again, trap, come underneath, and now I can make that arm longer. And this one here, I'm going to do this wrist lock. You notice that always grabbing that wrist. Okay, I go in here as I extend my arm. I'm going to roll my keep keep across. It makes them stronger. I go in and push down as I do this. And this this will push that first. You can put the guy right on the ground and then walk away. I didn't bust his nose, I didn't do any of those things, but I just got my point across, you know, get your hands off. Okay. So in this one, this is, there's not much you can really keep grabbing. There's not like so much you can practice with this, but the, the, the concepts to keep in mind is to trap one arm so that you can get this turning motion, right? And again, you're probably not going to have time if you're in a real fight to like look and reach in and pull down how we want, but there's absolutely nothing wrong with going and just sh shooting that thing straight in, right? Ooh, you hit the windpipe, you get you get a very good and reaction. It's, this is the important part. We have that thing trapped, and now we turn. Now we can reach, right? Now we have that. And the reason why we like the fingers to the throat is because it really just you need that shock value, right? Anybody who's been like caught one time in the in the throat, that you know you can't breathe, and so like you just trap that one arm and just shoot that. Yep. And if the person's real tall, it's really easy to get this. And if none of those work, take out your gun and shoot them. <laughs> if you have a permit. Either way, you're going to trap that thing. You're just not on your gun. You're just not on your gun. You just have to be able to turn a little bit because all you really need is this muscle, right? Just that little bit. So trap that arm and keep it close. Right to the ground. Yeah, and it's just that easy. And you can see how much it's that hard to reach it. And that, this is one that I'm going to show because this is one that I'm not going to show how many strength it's going to be. So I try to pull them with the high or rip them off. But this is one where as soon as you feel that come in, your, your instant reaction is I'm going to grab it. I see it. I know what it means. It makes you grab it. It's the first thing. What do you think? I think that anybody grabs it. Back a little bit. Yeah, I believe that. This is cool. Yeah, but you guys have talents. I think. A little extra, yeah. little extra damage with those. But yeah, anything that's straight in right to this, like, you know, that really, like, that's going to give you some shock. That one just going to be like, you don't aim for the eyes anymore now. It's just like right there. Well, at the end of the day, those people are going to overpower it. You know, unless you, like, really, really study about anything that you learn. Find one thing or one or two days ago. I can remember that. But no one's right. Or I can remember that. I can just remember the few things and it's about shouting. Whichever one you feel better with, right? And, and again, it's a human thing, right? So like, as soon as it grabs you, if one of your hands is there, and you even thought to go to the throat right away, I would high five you. Oh, okay. All right, but nothing. You know what I mean? Anything right away. Because like, what's your turn to throw you in a van, throw you in a, I don't know, I don't know what these terrible people are doing. Okay, I thought we'd take uh, five minutes or so and then uh, do a little Q and A. If you have a question or have a, a grab or anything or something we talked about today, uh, we will be happy to answer any of those. So, what about from behind? Okay, over the arms or under? Sure. Sir. Sure. <laughs> okay, over the arms? Okay, so this kind of sucks, especially if they pick you up and they carry you off. Okay? So, 
As soon as I get arms around me, what I do know, and he already adjusted for that, he has his head to the side. Oh. Straight back. First thing, straight back with my head, drop, flip, kick. Okay? Now I'm going to reach for the skies and I'm going to drop my knee. Okay? In our advanced classes, bang, 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 over, and now he's there and I'm not. Okay? So. Four minutes next time, Adam. Yeah. <laughs> so when we're teaching escapes and stuff, I do everything but that throw because you want to get ultimately get away. So as the arms are round, I head straight back, slam the foot, flip, kick the groin, drop down, fire a couple elbows, and then get out. You notice three softening distraction techniques, right? Mm -hmm. You got a foot stomp, a foot kick, and a headbutt, right? Mm -hmm. I'm thinking about everything except for holding on to him at that point. Yes, and then, then lighten, up the, lighten up the rib cage, and then you can escape. And ultimately, you want to escape from that person. If they're under the arms, okay, it's like, well, now I can do some of those, but I have both elbows. I still have my head. I can elbow, elbow. I can foot stomp, bring out that knee. Now, this is where um, you're going to get him off of you. He's loosened, I want you to grab one finger only. It's called digit control. And I'm gonna peel the pinky and I'll pry it backwards, okay? By prying that backwards, he will let go, okay? If it doesn't and he still have you, you and that one snap, you grab the next one. Okay, if I pull against all of his fingers, I'm not gonna get that loose. But after I've done all my softening techniques, I reach, I grab one digit, peel it off. Exit and then get out. Okay. We have other ways of doing that. Here's a fun one. I love doing this one, and that is after I've done all these things, elbows, elbows. I reach and I place my hand right over top of his hand. Okay. Then I press on the ends of his finger. Yeah, hey, he likes this. I press right on the ends of their fingers and I drop them right to the ground. I just stretched out all the tendons in his fingers. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Slow motion. This one's a little harder to do, but I press right on the very ends of his fingertips, right here. See that? And then I press them. As soon as I squeeze a little, he just drops right down. It's great. And then you press, and I can rotate right out, and I can just tell him to kneel down, you know, and then uh, I let him go if I choose to. Okay? But for the most part, you want to escape. You don't want to simply hold on to the person. And so. Yes, you don't want to show me how, how, how no. good tendon control you have over them. <laughs> and then you, you fire, 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 Please. grab a pinky, peel it off. This is the same thing as if it's a rear choke. They reach up and they grab the digits, grab one or two, and bend them out. And then that person will let go, okay? So these are all things for that. Okay, any other questions? I kind of elaborated on a couple different scenarios. Anything else? I do. What about a drunk guy in the bar comes up, oh, hi, sweetie, how you doing? And you just want to well, get him off as, of Well, as you. unfortunately as that is, I've never once had a drunk guy do that to me. <laughs> okay, but I will show you a little technique that we use. Okay, so I'm here, and he's Hey, here. baby. Yeah. Okay, so now there may be another person standing here. We'll simulate this another person here. You kind of feel trapped. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is really this is really complicated. So he's here. You're uncomfortable. He really hasn't done anything yet. Mm -hmm. But you want to clearly know that you're not interested. Maybe he takes that arm and goes over here. Okay. Oh, nice. So uh, he's over there and he's looking like uh, you know kind of unfortunate. So from from this position, I actually do teach us. You're uncomfortable. Your best route is to go here and not there because he can bring his other arm across there. So as soon as I'm here, I'm not comfortable. I duck my head out. My arm is still on his hand, and then I walk away. Hey, clearly we'll get the signal, hey, you know. You didn't have to take it any further than that. He didn't do anything to you. You felt uncomfortable, he's in your personal space. And then you can simply duck out of that going towards his back. And so that's a real simple way. If you take a hand and put it up there, any one of these, where take this arm, go here. Now I'm to the back side, and you step up. He'll just be embarrassed, okay? Yes. Any, anything else? <laughs> How effective is like that whole windmill thing that you get going when you want to slap people out of the way? Not good. Not. I'd, if you didn't see Bruce Lee do it, don't do it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do you mean like just swinging? Yeah. But I, I don't think it's a terrible, terribly bad idea. 
you know, just a swing just something, a swing. and hopefully something like, gets. Mm -hmm. Think about how much more effective mm -hmm. just doing this is mm -hmm. with very little effort or energy. This, what are you gonna do, right? Any of you can go up and slap him <laughs> crazy, <laughs> and literally it won't do anything ever, no. right? So save that energy and effort. If you stand there and wait for a fraction, they might think that you're just gonna do what they say. So they grab you, and you you just go like this, and then you go bang. Your chances of getting away are so much better than if you're just like, you know, slapping. Yep. Hey makers, you can hit somebody with thought you get lucky with a shot here and there. But it's very, it's much more effective to be uh, precision. Find the weakest possible area, right? Yep. That's why the whole time we throw growing. Uh, you know. Things that I didn't elaborate on was knees, okay? And that is really important. Uh, I will take those knees out. All I got to do is hit one good, and he can't chase me. Okay, so once I've bro broken loose from whatever it is, and I'll say I'm in my car trying to get in, he grabs a hold of the arm, boom, I take that knee out, that's the end of that. Okay, he can't chase me. And who's ever had a knee injury here? Yeah, you don't do nothing when your knees don't work. <laughs> I've been there, and he's been there. And so we, that's, that's the next level. That's the next level. You know, they grab hold of you, and this is, a, you know, I, I de-escalated some of these for you're in a, an area where, like the bar or something like that. Um, but at the end of the day, you take out the knee that cannot chase you. With all these things, like you said, like the most important thing to do is the first thing you have to do is read the situation, understand is this a life or death situation? Is this an idiot at the bar? Is this a guy I don't want to maim and destroy? You know what I mean? Like you have to first decide am I, am I threatened or not threatened? If you're threatened, there's no limit, right? You, whatever it takes, you gouge out an eyeball, you go right for the throat, right for the groin. But like the, the more challenging thing is the right one, so you're not trying to like pop somebody's eyeball out because it's a little frisky or whatever. Um, the, keep yourself in a safe situation, right? Like yep, yep. we always tell the small, you know, I'm sure you guys all know the buddy system, right? You just don't go out by All those things, really yeah. terrible idea. Walk out to your car, um, uh, if somebody's following you, a, a great thing is if you're in a store or a mall or whatever and you see somebody three times, you need to, uh, you need to be already, your alert should be up. Okay, women often have a sixth sense. Guys, lucky to get three to work at any good time. <laughs> but the, uh, and, and you know, you kind of feel uneasy. Uh, things that I teach everybody in my self-defense classes, if you feel uneasy, you see somebody a third time, you turn right around, you pull out your phone, take a photo. Oh, yep. Okay? They, they've already been identified, and a lot of, they don't know did you send it to somebody or not, but a lot of times that person will deter it. If you turn around and you eyeball them, even if you just you just look at them and they know that you know and uh, I had this happen to one of my black belt females at Fleet Farm and and then she went she went right to the uh, service counter she didn't think about grabbing her and taking a photo of the guy quick but the guy followed her around there in the evening and uh, and uh, so she knew go right up to the counter this person's following me and by then he had already ducked out and uh, but th then she didn't want to go out to the car and they followed her out to the vehicle and so all those things are great ideas. If you're not, if you're leaving work here today and you're not feel comfortable, and uh, you go out there with somebody else, you know, you guys got all kind of happy guys upstairs with badges, right? <laughs> you, you ask one of those guys, they're more than uh, happy to go out there, okay? And uh, and those are good safety tips uh, that that I give in all my self defense classes. Did you guys enjoy some of the things that we taught? Yes. Yeah. Okay. The one thing I always follow up with is get more training, okay? All right, you do anything one time for half an hour, you're probably not gonna remember a whole lot of it. Hopefully you remember at least one thing and that can make a difference. Um, what, uh, what we often do, and, and as, as uh, I tell people, because there are a lot of times when I have a class, they're from all over the place. So it's like when you go back, find some place, go get some more training, right? Get some more training and, and make that a habit. How many have children in here? Some of them are older, some are younger. Um, the, uh, the, there's two things that everybody needs to know. For one, everybody needs to know how to swim. I don't care who you are. All the volleyball and dance and gymnastics in the world is not going to help you fall off a boat. Agreed? Yeah. I have a brother at John, so this is kind of personal to me. And then the second thing is you need to know how to defend yourself. The stats are staggering when people go to college. How many have ever had somebody approach you in a way that you didn't want to be approached? Bet you every one of you. Okay? And so just knowing how to deter things on a, on a, on a very small level versus even to the point where somebody grabs you and you're trying to get into your car. And knowing what to do is, is instrumental, okay? It can save your life. So, like I say, the other ones, get some more training. 
we do have, uh, he runs our school right here on Baker Street. Uh, he's very knowledgeable, mine's in Marshfield. Uh, come and get some training, we'll give you guys, you tell, you tell us, come in and say, hey, I was in your class here. We'll give you a, we'll give you a week of training for nothing. Come on in and, uh, and, and the other thing that's a little more applicable too is that that might be more up your guys' alley is that we do like women's self-defense classes pretty regularly where like we get the, look us up on Facebook, right? It's Rice Martial Arts Academy on Facebook. Um, I've got a page, he's got a page. A lot of times we'll do like a, a, like an hour and a half where we'll get 20, 30 women in all, and it's like a really safe environment where you can kind of have comfortable clothes on and really kind of get into it and, and learn a few things. Those are the things that are going to help you much more than this, like forty-five minutes. It's this, mm -hmm. you know, supercharged for two we have hours. We're working off of the ground and different things like that. Because there's and, uh, just so many situations that you can be in that you'd never really think about. Right. You know, it's not always as easy, right, as walking out of the bar and just saying, "Oh, can you walk with?" It's not always that easy, right? You know, sometimes you're alone, or sometimes you get knocked down right away. You know what? Yeah, right. What do you What do you do when when you're walking and all of a sudden you open your eyes, you're laying on the ground. You know what do you do? Well, there's good things and bad things, right? right. So, well, we can we can uh, help. Educate you more on all those things. Of course, we left all our brochures at home at the back of the school, so. He was nice, I left them at the <laughs> uh, But, uh, alrighty, well, you guys did a great job today. How's your hip feeling? You good to go? I'm doing good. We didn't hurt your hand? Nope. Right. I tried once, but she said. <laughs> alrighty. She kicked him in the groin.